It stars uh, Japanese actor Koji Yakusho. It premiered in competition at Cannes last year, won the prize of the ecumenical jury and uh, best actor for Koji Yakusho. He plays a janitor, Hiriyami, who works for the Tokyo Toilet Company. His life is very structured. He wakes up in the morning, he rolls up his bed, he steps out of his house and there's a vending machine there. He gets a drink out of the vending machine, he gets into his van, he drives to work listening to cassettes of his favourite music, Lou Reed, Patti Smith, Nina Simone, The Kinks, because Vendor's um, early feature, first feature, I think, was dedicated to The Kinks. He takes great pride in his work in properly cleaning the toilets that he's that he's attending to. He has a young co-worker, youthful co-worker, Takashi, who, who in one of the... The thing is divided into four four separate days. In one of them, just he just wants to finish quickly and go off with his girlfriend. At lunchtime... Our central hero has a sandwich in a park, exchanges glances with a similarly singular woman. He loves trees. He tends to plants, which sometimes he will get a plant from the park and he'll take it back home. And at night, he reads before going to sleep and having expressionistically rendered dreams. And over the course of four days, we see him repeat these rituals. Here's a clip. <laughs> うん。海だ。行く今度ね。今度っていつ今度は今度。今度は今度。今は今。So, co-written by Takuma Takasaki and uh, Vin Vendors, as I said, played very, very well in Cannes. And over the course of the of the movie, a series of separate kind of interlocking stories are told in which at one point there's an attempt to sell some of his loved cassettes and um, it turns out they're very valuable but the whole thing is that he loves cassettes he loves the way cassettes sound and he doesn't want to part with them because you know they're, they're, they're worth this money he has a, a visit from a, a young relative who uh, he allows to come and come to work with him for a while and they have a kind of interaction and he goes to the park and he, as I said, he, he meets this, uh, meets this other apparently sort of similarly singular soul. But the whole thing plays out in this very, very sort of gentle register that everything is very amusing. It's almost like a kind of, it's almost like mindfulness as a movie. It's very much like it's not linear plot led. It's about somebody with these rituals that their life is run by finding um, perfection and finding pleasure and sadness in the simplest of things. And during the course of this, we we sort of learn about his buried sadnesses. I mean, this whole thing about his interaction with his niece, the discussion about how his family may or may not have been separated from him, why it is that he that he does the job that he does, why it is that he does the job so so, so, I mean, there are, there are long scenes of him cleaning toilets really, really efficiently, making sure everything is properly clean. At one point, he discovers behind one of the, the tiles um, somebody has done what we what we call noughts and crosses. They call tic-tac-toe. Um, and somebody has put one. And so he starts playing a game of tic-tac-toe with somebody who he doesn't know who he is. There's a documentary about Vim Vendors. I've mentioned this before. It was made in the 90s by Chris Rodley and Paul Joyce, and it's called Vim Vendors Motion and Emotion. And it's a very good documentary, but it features Krof Etzel, who is a German film critic, who says this thing, which is that he says that all Wim Wenders films can be basically summed up with the following phrases. Children are strange, aren't they? And women are strange, aren't they? Let's put another song on the jukebox. And the weird thing about it is that actually that applies absolutely to this film, even though it is a late period Wenders in which he's he kind of moved on from doing that. But here, that idea is sort of perfectly encapsulated. The way in which we get songs played out, 
on these cassettes, the way in which the, the, the mechanism of the cassette is fetishized, the way in which somebody listens to the Patti Smith uh, uh, song, Redondo Beach, and then they ask, they ask to listen to a song again because they love the way a cassette sounds. It, 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 it is like somebody took the very essence of Vendors and baked it into this film. People have loved the movie. I don't love it. I think it's good. I think it's really charming. It's got a great central performance. And it's got it's got real heart to it. And it is easy to see why it was that Koji Kusho won the um, you know, as I said, won the won, won the best actor award at Cannes. That absolutely makes sense because his the whole film rests on his face. And there's a key scene toward the end of the film in which he has an expression on his face which is somewhere between smiling and crying somewhere between ec ecstasy and despair and the film is the very definition of bittersweet and poignant and i liked it i'm not sure that i like it as much as everybody else appears to but it is very very ambient and very calming to the soul i could watch it and listen to it on my phone then <laughs> just as i'm falling asleep